Are you wondering what to get the reader in your life for this upcoming holiday season? Well, I'm here to help. Hey everyone, my name's Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader. And today I wanna to talk to you about bookish gifts for the reader in your life. I have people ask me all the time, like, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for this gift, that gift, whatever? And a lot of times they really wanna get me something that has to do with reading because I'm a, obviously an avid reader. Besides getting me a book or besides getting me a gift card, which I do still highly recommend, I wanted to give you guys a bunch of different ideas for things that you could think about for the reader in your life. Or if you are a reader and you want ideas of what to tell people to get you, that also works too. This video is actually gonna be part one. I'm gonna do two parts. This one is going to be items that I found from different places uh, that were not small businesses. I'm gonna have an entirely separate small business video, either small businesses that I've supported or small businesses that I know of. That way you kind of have a variety of options of things that you can get. And I will do my best to include the links for all of the products. But if you are looking for that small business video, make sure you're subscribed, make sure your notifications are turned on so you'll be notified when I post it. So this item that I'm first gonna talk about, I can't really show you because it's in my kitchen. One of the things that as a reader, I absolutely love having in my house is my Nespresso. I have this version here. Uh, it is a little bit on the pricier side, so that is something to keep in mind, but I will definitely encourage that there are a variety of different options of the same idea behind this gift. As a reader, it's one of my favorite, favorite things to like wake up in the morning and make myself a cup of coffee and sit and read my book in the morning. Having the Nespresso in my house makes that possible. It makes it so I don't have to get up and go to Starbucks when I want a fancy drink. Now a little disclaimer for me on this item is that I do not like plain brewed coffee. I am not a plain brew coffee girl. I cannot drink anything but espresso. Otherwise, my insides are completely torn up and I feel like crap all day long. So that's a that's a big negative for me. I have to have espresso, which normally that's like the other way around, but it's fine. So I've had an espresso machine for a very long time and I used to have the Starbucks one. They don't make those anymore. And so we bit the bullet last year and we switched to the Nespresso. This version that I have has the milk frother built into it. So it's like one whole system, which is what I was looking for. Because what I had previously, I had like the separate milk frother, which worked fine, but I got tired of like, having to do something separate and then pour into my cup. Like I wanted it to brew all in one. And so that's why I love my machine. It does take a little bit of time to clean it. There's a lot of pieces that like, I, I use a baby bottle brush and I like scrub everything out every morning before I make my coffee. So there is a little bit of like maintenance to it, but Getting the pods from Nestle are super, super easy. They have an app, they send it right to you. And one of my favorite things is that they actually have a recycling program for their pods where you, I literally just dump them into a bag that they give you for free and then they pay the postage to mail the pods back and they recycle them. You just literally bring it to the post office. That is like my number one gift. And there are things that kind of go along with this because you can get the coffee, you can get mugs. Like I, as a reader, love having mugs. You can have different mugs for all different seasons. I know it's kind of tempting to get Christmas ones right now, but there's also a mug that I'm going to recommend in my small business video for readers. So stay tuned for that. It also saves me a lot of money. I, I just like want to throw that out there because I get a peppermint mocha year round. I know it's the holidays and everyone's excited for the peppermint mochas to come back. But uh, fun fact, they actually have them year round. They keep peppermint in stock at Starbucks every day of the year. They just get better during the holiday season because they retrain everybody on how to make them. So they make them a lot better, but you can get a peppermint mocha year round. Anyways, so a peppermint mocha, grande peppermint mocha would cost me almost $6. 
So getting a $6 drink every day on my way to work or on weekends or whatever, like it's a lot of money. And the pods and all the syrups and everything, we get them all in bulk and they last for a really long time. And I think we did the math on it and the machine for me and my husband drinking a coffee every day was paid off in less than two months. There are other options, like I said, for smaller machines or machines that are separated out, but this is the one that I have and this is the one that I love. One of the other products that I absolutely love is called the book seat. And I got the book seat on Amazon. I think they have their own website, but I got it. I, they have all the colors that they have on Amazon. And I got this because sometimes I'm really, really lazy and I don't want to lift my book or I use it a lot when I'm working out. So I have a tray that is on my treadmill so I can just walk and put the book seat on the tray. And let me show you how it works. So it's like a bean seat. There's like a little pouch back here that you can put bookmarks and stuff in. Um, and it's got this clear piece of plastic and this extendo cord with a like stretchy piece. So basically what you do is you open your book where you are reading it, you put it behind the plastic piece, and then you pull this piece tight and as tight as you want it um, so that it holds the book open. So it holds it open while you're reading it. And when you wanna turn the page, all you do, I can't do this with one hand, so like bear with me, but you flip this down and then you turn the page and then it flips back up. Like it's that easy. I do it while I'm walking all the time. It's so nice. So I love my book seat. I have recommended this to other people and I know people have bought it and loved it too. I got the green one. They come in a bunch of different colors, but it is so helpful. <laughs> this suggestion like I use as a reader and I know a lot of people use as readers, but it's something that like you don't have to be a reader to enjoy. Again, I can't show this to you. It, it would be a little difficult to show you because it's all set up. I have a bath bench in my bathtub and it's bamboo and I use it to read when I'm taking baths. It's really, really nice. It's got like a cup holder. It's got a wine little cover so you can like slide a wine glass in there. It extends. So my bathtub is really wide and it does extend and meet it fits perfectly. It's got little grips so it doesn't slide and it has a tray that lifts up or like a backing that lifts up. So either you can put your book seat on it or like you can prop an iPad or your Kindle or anything that you want. And it is so nice to just have and like set your phone on like you don't have to worry about anything falling something that's just like kind of a little luxury item for me like makes my evening relaxing like I can sit and read take a bubble bath or whatever so other suggestions are things to like go along with this like bubble bath bath pillow loofahs like salts bath bombs whatever like so many things that you can put all together with this gift but I love, love my bath bench. It is so, so nice. This one might seem like an obvious one, but of course I cannot go without mentioning getting a Kindle for the reader in your life. Barnes & Noble also has their e-reader. It's a Nook. I, ha I did used to have a Nook a very, very long time ago when it was like more of the tablet, but now I use my Kindle and I absolutely love it. I have the paper white and I love the paper white. Mine is touch screen. There are no buttons. I just, it's small, it fits in my hand. I have a case for it, which is another accessory that you can add on to your gift. A lot of people like the Oasis. The Oasis has buttons on the side. And a lot of people who do like one-handed reading like it because they can just press the button. I don't, I don't one hand read often. If I do, I I don't really have a problem just hitting the screen with my thumb. So I don't really care about that. I love my Kindle. It makes me very happy that I actually went and got this one. I have the 10th edition. My husband has the 11th edition. I think the 11th is the newest uh, for the paper white. It is waterproof. So if you get your little bath bench, you don't have to worry about it falling into your bath because it is waterproof. So I've used it in the bath. I've used it in pools. It is completely fine. 
The battery lasts for a really long time on these ones if you have the Wi-Fi off and if you don't have the light on. Any additional features that you're using for on the Kindle will drag the battery out, but I have never had a problem with the battery. I have had a lot of people ask me about the ad version versus the non-ad version, and I do not have a problem with the ad version personally. A lot of people are like, well, that's the only one available. I have to wait months and months and months for the other, and, and yeah, it makes sense. Like. All it is is this is this is the ad that I get. It's on the home page when I open up my Kindle. It's just basically right there until I swipe my Kindle up and go into my library. Then I get no more ads. Like this does not bother me at all. I would definitely recommend getting the one that will get to you in time. Now this is funny because this is kind of associated with the Kindle. I talked about the cover for the Kindle, but I, I don't have this. But there are a lot of people who have tried it or who bought it. I've seen videos. There is a Kindle clicker that you can get on Amazon. And it basically is like this little clamp that hooks on to the screen of your Kindle and it like clamps onto the side and then you have a remote in your hand and you can press the remote and it will like click the page to the next page. I think it's hilarious. People, people have like things that they have hooked up to their nightstand or to their headboard that attach on and hold their Kindle up so they can literally like lay in bed and just like click it with their fingers instead of holding their Kindle. So I, I think it's funny. Those are available. I will link them if you want them, but I haven't tried them. So like I can't really super recommend them, but people love it. At this point, I've kind of given gifts for the physical book reader and the ebook reader in your life, but what about audiobook readers? I don't read audiobooks very often, but having a good set of headphones makes audiobooks like a, a million times better. I am an AirPods gal. I love my AirPods. I have the ones that have the surround sound um, or the, the silencing, so I I'm completely immersed in what I'm hearing in my headphones when I use them. So that makes audiobooks better for me. But the key is, is I have to be able to not pay attention to whatever else is going on around me because I can't hear it. I personally love my AirPods, but I know a lot of audiobook readers don't like having pods in their ears for that long of time because this is like hours that you're listening to something. I totally understand that. I sympathize with that, but I'm not an audiobook reader. So like for the little that I do, these work great. There are a lot of people that love the like over ear headphones. I don't have any to recommend to you. I have really old Bose ones that I have used flying on planes for years and years and they still work. So I really like those, but there's a lot of new ones out on the market right now. A lot of people love them. I Mine has a cord, so there's definitely newer options out there. But the Bose ones look more great, and I still love them, so check them out, I guess. A lot of people don't think about this either as an option for a gift, but you can also buy someone a subscription to something. Depending on what type of reader they are, you have Audible subscriptions, you have other audiobook platform subscriptions, and I'll talk about those in a second. There's Kindle Unlimited, which I can recommend because that is the one that I use. I read so much on Kindle Unlimited, uh, but there are, there are others, so I'm going to talk about that in a second different types of subscriptions. There are book box subscriptions. I am not subscribed to any right now, so I personally cannot recommend any, but there are a lot of them out there and that is something that will deliver a box to the person every month or whatever the time frame is. I would definitely recommend looking to see if your reader wants one of those, has liked uh, content from those in the past, maybe seeing which one they like, and I think you can gift or buy a certain number of the subscription boxes for someone. You can also do that with Audible. Audible is for audiobooks. I will put a link that I think they're running a special for the holiday time where you get like a lot of time for very little money. 
as a gift. I don't know exactly what it is, but I'll put the link if you're interested in that. Audible is through Amazon. Um, there are a lot of Audible exclusivities. So there's a lot of books that are only available on Audible, which is a like tick in the, the positives comment uh, column or the, the pro column. But there's also a service and I have used this one before and I do really enjoy it and it's called Libro FM. Libro FM has audiobooks. It is a subscription service just like Audible, but Libro FM supports indie bookstores. So when you sign up for your Libro FM account or subscription, you choose an independent bookstore that you would like to support. So every time you buy a book, using your credits for your subscription or if you're just buying it through Libro FM, you are making that bookstore money. So it helps supports indie bookstores and still gives you the audiobook content. As far as physical reading subscriptions, well, ebook reading subscriptions, the two that I know of are Kindle Unlimited and Scribd. I use Kindle Unlimited, so I cannot tell you a lot about Scribd, but here is kind of my understanding in the differences and things that you should think about when you're trying to pick which one's best for you or whoever you're gifting. Kindle Unlimited is Amazon. It is on the Kindle. It is easily accessible on the Kindle. And there's thousands of books that are available to you through Kindle Unlimited. A lot of independent authors use Kindle Unlimited to make their bo books accessible to a broader audience. And so Kindle Unlimited is full of independent book reads. There are some non-independent book reads, but because there is an exclusivity, if you have an ebook on Kindle Unlimited, you cannot offer an ebook anywhere else. It's not necessarily done by a lot of publishing houses. Scribd, on the other hand, is another subscription, and but Scribd does not only ebooks, but they do audiobooks as well. Now, Scribd, from what I've seen of their gallery, theirs is more of the traditional publishing options in their library. So it really kind of depends whether or not you want more independent options or more traditionally published options. Comfy reading clothes. Okay, I have seen so many videos about like Target's new like sweater sets that are like a sweater top and sweater pants. And I'm like, oh my God, those look so comfortable. I want them so bad. So like anything that is comfortable for reading, fuzzy socks, warm clothes, like cute outfits that you can just imagine sitting in like one of your reading chairs, a blanket, snuggling under a blanket, like things like that I, I would love as a reader because I would just want to sit in it all day long. And gift cards. I know people not gift cards, but a lot of times there are books that people want to buy that they wouldn't necessarily buy unless they had a gift card. And I have done that myself where like I've really wanted a hard co cover copy of something and or a duplicate special edition, something like that. And I wouldn't buy it myself without having the gift card. Now, as a reader, somebody may not know that that's what I wanted to buy. I wanted the special edition. I wanted the hardcover, whatever. And so it's hard to just be like, oh, hey, can you buy me this book? Or as somebody from the outside, oh, I'm going to get them this book. Now, they could have a wish list. A lot of people on who are involved in like the social media aspect of reading do have wish lists on their pages. So you could always look at that and see what books they want and get them that off their list or if they'll provide you with a list. Cool. But like we love gift cards. We love bookstore gift cards like they make us happy. Don't ever feel like you're getting a lesser gift if you get a gift card, especially for a reader if it's for a bookstore because that will be used. Now here are kind of some stocking stuffer ideas. Bookmarks, okay? I have all kinds of different bookmarks. You can get fun ones. I know often I talk about, I use receipts, but like having a nice bookmark sometimes just like makes you happy. So bookmarks, I got this really pretty one from my grandmother, I think for Mother's Day last year. And it like, has a charm and hangs out of the book and it's really really pretty so there's lots of variations and you know that they're always going to get used because they get lost and things happen or you know one of them bends and it's devastating there's lots of different options for bookmarks 
Another idea for a stocking stuffer is an annotation set. A lot of people like annotating their books. I personally am not an annotator, but there are people that get so into it and love annotating their books. So I got these highlighters on Amazon. I think they're really like cute pastels. They have two different tips. So you have the thicker tip and the thinner tip. And so highlighters, pretty pens, gel pens, like I know gel pens are back. Things that write really well, different colors, tabs. Tabs are like a big thing in the annotating world, okay? I didn't realize that tabs were such a big thing and that you can get like different aesthetic tabs, not just like the plain normal ones like I have. And there's whole, people do aesthetics for their tabs so that the side of the book looks pretty. Like it's a whole thing. So if you know that your reader likes to annotate, that is definitely something that you can stick in their stocking. One last thing that I, I kind of have had my eye on. So I don't have one of these. I have seen them around and I have seen them online. It is a crafted piece of wood. I'll put up the pictures right here. Okay. So basically you like put your thumb through the hole and it helps when you're holding open a book to keep the pages open without feeling like you need to do this like hang loose thing and like hurt your hand especially if it's a thick book like it's really hard sometimes so it like sits in the crease of the book so you can just hold it and it will stay open and I don't know it seems so useful I kind of want one so I can try it I will put that here as well I like I said I don't have one so I can't say hey it's amazing but it looks like it would be well that is it for my gift ideas for this video. Hopefully you guys kind of got an idea for something that either you want or you want to get someone. Like I said, I will do my best to find the links for everything that I showed you and put them in the description below. If you're looking to support small businesses, don't forget I will have a small business video. So make sure your notifications are turned on so you have that coming as well. Hope this helped and please let me know if you have any questions or any other suggestions of things that you've gotten or things that you've loved, anything bookish, like let me know because I'm always looking for more bookish things too. Don't forget, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at The Fun Size Reader. See you guys next time.